All right, guys, I'm back at it once again. It's my 2015 Mustang GT with a performance package. Uh, I have little issues with it. This is pretty much my like my little review of it. It's not really real issues. There's probably other people can't tell, but me, I'm not gonna say I'm picky, but I can, I can see the little things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so basically my front pads I had I had the performance package so it comes with the Brembo's and all that you know uh, I don't know if the pads were changed because I did buy this used at uh, 13,000 miles so I don't know I doubt it that the brakes were ch changed maybe so I'm I'm pretty sure they have really I mean if you're hard on them they could look like they got some wear to the you know the disc brakes or whatnot you can see it's got a little devil there and probably needs to be resurfaced and whatnot but what I'm trying to say they, they squeak you know like Unless they're heated up, they squeak. So that's what makes me that's what makes me think that someone changed the pads on it. Uh, the other little issue I have, throttle response, like I said in one of, one of my previous videos, I'm gonna get a tune Wednesday. Today's Sunday. So hopefully that goes awesome. I'm, I'm looking forward to changing the rev limiter and that throttle response mainly and unleashing this Mustang. Uh, another problem that I have, uh, it's kind of dirty, the car is, I apologize, but if you look very close here, I don't know if you see that little knuckle on the hood, it's right there, and uh, right there is, it looks like corrosion underneath the hood, so I'm going to have to take that back to Ford and say, hey man, hey man what's up, you know, this thing's still under warranty, you know, um, shouldn't be having stuff show up like that on your paint, so hopefully that gets fixed as well, but other than that this car is amazing i had a 240sx with a sr20 det swap and uh well i'm not gonna lie they feel they feel very similar besides you know the torque difference but they feel very similar in horsepower uh the car is i'm not gonna say it's slower but it's just as fast as the 240 whatever i had into the 240 a long time ago doesn't matter now look what i got now you know what i'm saying so i love that it's the fastback without the spoiler like i said i apologize the car is dirty but uh i got the flow master super 44s on the car uh they, they are absolutely amazing they sound great uh now a lot of people say that the uh inside the car that it would make the most sound is at 2000 RPM or whatnot. Uh, I, that's when it starts quieting it up for this type of exhaust. So, uh, but it's real deep, good tone. It's got a little bit of rasp because I do have a two and a half inch pipe, uh, X pipe up front, Ford racing. I don't know why the previous owner put just the X pipe on there. It's a little weird, but he put our air raid on it as well. So it's not too bad. I'm not going to complain. I'm glad he got that stuff on there. He's got a little LED light for the rear too. But this car is a performance package with the premium package as well. So, you know, the lights light up there with it says Mustang and inside the door handle and underneath your feet. And, you know, it's got the whole performance and premium package. So that that's great. The only thing's lacking is uh, navigation. Which I'm not complaining because all our phones have navigation. Not gonna cry. Not today, not tomorrow. So, yeah. Other than that, you know, you got cooled and heated seats. And uh, here in Florida, that's where it's at right there. I don't even have to turn the AC on. So just roll down the windows, turn the cooled seats on. But other than that, you know, it's got the track package and all that. So, you know, you got your, all your track apps here, you know for brake performance and stuff like that. You can check all that stuff. Uh, like I said, I think the pads have been changed. So basically, when I'm hard on the brakes, they're not getting soft or anything. The pedal stays hard, but the, the ABS is, I can feel the ABS is clicking on just a little bit, just enough to where I'm just like, holy crap, like I know I have more brake power. I know I do. I can feel it, it's just the pads once you get up to that certain amount of pressure, 
the brake the tires are not locking up they're not trying to skirt or screech or anything like that so that's that's what's got me there too because these these tires do squeal you know so i mean it's not like i'm crazy or anything <laughs> so anyway uh now i love all these these apps it's insane there it's so cool like of everything that you can do with the even to the traction control system what let me talk about that real quick okay traction control you know you got this little toggle switch with these switches are amazing the period it's just just period all right and so you know you can do that and traction control is off right and uh, well you turn it back on you go to your modes you got normal sport plus I love that actually in the rain a little bit I mean I feel like I'm probably tearing up the car because it does take off to an exact fastness that it can like better than I could I for sure because I would just get wheel spin every time like just too bad of wheel spin it would just immediately spin even in fourth gear in the rain you gotta be very careful with these guys like these cars you know you see all the videos on the internet you see people wrecking them all the time but uh, you know I, like I said I had a 240 so I with a you know lock differential so I, I know I know my way around getting sideways not a, not no professional or anything but I know my way around anyway you got the sport plus and this you know you allows you to take off as fast as possible with less you know tire spin and it it's really really good not for me though so I go to track all the way you know all the time right when I get in the car the traction controls off right but I found this out you know no one told me I just got out there got a little sideways and it shut me down light came up on the dash I saw it flicker for a second and it shut me down I was like what was that you know I was thinking I was like I need to look up on the internet and find this out so if you hold up on your uh, traction control and just hold it about like six seven seconds it'll show advance track off awesome now you can completely go sideways if you want to that's it's all up to you but like if your car does go sideways and you can handle it you know you don't want that shutting you down especially if you're in, not exactly in the middle of a race but you're just getting on it having a good time you don't want that to shut you down so that was one of the main things that no one told me how to look up on the internet so that was awesome I'm glad I'm glad this this thing has that many traction control systems in there you know you got you also you know you can turn it right back on just hitting it says advanced track on all right and then now you come out of that mode and you go to this snow and wet that completely turns down your throttle as like like it makes you go straight from like v8 power to four cylinder power no turbo you know what I'm saying like it's pretty cool I like it but here in Florida I'll never use that so normal mode is just usually what I use for the rain you know unless I'm trying to have a little bit of fun you know take off from a red light just to see what I can do you know just to see what I can get up to but 0 to 60 in this thing I I mean I went to the uh, track apps and I tried it once you know just to just to check it out so we'll check out this accelerator uh, timer I think right here right uh, so 0 to 30 uh, 2.2 and then uh, 4.8 I guess that was that was today or something I don't know if there's more uh, okay that's for the braking I'm guessing you know 60 foot or, or maybe that oh, yeah, okay all right that's my takeoff 60 foot and uh, 8 3 for the eighth of mile like I said I just played with it once so and uh, of course I did I did uh, flat foot shifting I know you're probably gonna yell at me about that but no nah, it, it's fine it'd be all right it grow back but other than that, yeah, that was that was cool, you know. A three, okay, four seven is zero sixty. I, I must have did it twice. Yeah, I think I did it one time coming off home at work. And this, you know, it's hot outside. You know, probably my cylinder head it was probably rocking like one hundred and something. You know, I wasn't. It wasn't like it was a nice cold day out or anything. But the tires completely hook up. I have the uh, Pirelli Nero zeros or something like that for the rear the front are still the stock from the factory but other than that i went for uh 
I went for the uh, other set of tires. I saw those, and they were cheaper. You got about 200 a piece, which is not bad. So let's see what uh, the sound, you know, inside the cabin sounds like. What I was trying to show you or to tell you guys, you know, around like. 1500 is where it gets the most loud sound for the super 44s uh it's not too bad though i i, I enjoy it you know I'm out of here thank you for watching my video you don't have to subscribe and like and all that stuff I'm just here to show you guys you know a nice Mustang GT what I've done to it so I hope you guys enjoyed it at least and uh see you next time